Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I received a question from someone asking me why Luminar AI doesn't have an adjustable gradient in it. And it's there, it's just in a different spot and it's used slightly differently. So in this very quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the adjustable gradient in Luminar AI. Now I have this image here. Um, I just did some basic processing on it, but I'd like to bring out more detail in the sky. And typically maybe I'd go to structure and I turn structure up to bring out that detail. But you see, as I do that, um, it's enhancing the water as well. And I don't want people to look at the water. I want them to look at the lighthouse in the sky. The water's boring, right? So I want to minimize the water. I don't want to draw any attention to that. This is a great image for a gradient. To get to the gradient, you go to the local masking tools, click on add and go to basic. And when you do that, um, at the very top, you'll see a drop down. It says paint mask. That's a brush. But if you open up that drop down, you'll see there's two different types, two other types of masks there. There's a radial mask and a gradient mask. And that is what the adjustable gradient now is. It's called the gradient mask. So we're gonna use that. And when you do that, it's prompting you to click and draw your gradient. And I'm gonna do it right at the horizon line here or near the horizon line. And I'm gonna pull it down. And I wanna kinda of graduate it a bit like that maybe. So if you then see, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Now what I could do is I could come in with AI structure and crank that up and it's not affecting the water. It's only affecting the sky. So you see how, it, how that works? I'll bring in highlights a little bit because they're a little bit overbearing uh, in my opinion. We'll open up the shadows a bit. We'll add some contrast on top of that and we'll add some saturation, straight saturation, just like that. And that's as easy as it is. Now, if I wanted to apply this on the water, instead of clicking and dragging down, I would click and drag up. Now, if I want to add a second one, what you need to do is you got to go to add again, go to basic, Right now we're adding a second one and I'll go to the gradient mask. Now for this one, let's just say I typically wouldn't do this, but let's say I want to add it to the water. I'll click and drag up. All right, like that. And now you can see it's mainly affecting the water and I don't know. I, like I said, I won't, normally wouldn't do this, but let's say I want to make it a little brighter and then I could adjust it like that, move it around. So that's how you would add one to the bottom. Just click and drag up. You want to add it to the top, click and drag down. As simple as that. Now the, also there's a radial gradient available, a radiant, radial mask I should call it because that's what it is called. And in a future video, I'll come up with a good situation where you may want to use a radial mask. But until then, I just wanted to uh, show you where now the gradient uh, mask is kept in Luminar uh, AI and how you could use it to enhance your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.